going along to this end of this row where you've introduced the new third colour, the light blue, at this point you don't need, when you're coming to la the last four, you don't need to carry the dark blue because on the next line it's going to be the light blue and the white alternating. So put the dark blue aside, carry on with the light blue to the end. Now as you get to the end, of course you're going to bring in the white, so you're going to change colour right at the end. Now cut the dark blue, leaving yourself enough to sew in an end. Dark blue out of the way reintroduce the white. So the white then you're reintroducing so you finish off the row with the white, turn. Now you need to carry the light blue because you're going to be alternating with the white blue on this row. So again double crochet, two chains, you can tighten up all the loose chains when you're sewing in your ends. So carry along and now with the light blue and the white what we'll do is we'll have the white coming up from the front and the light blue coming back coming up from the back and then you can see you're going to have a lot of ends to to sew in when you do it this way because you will be cutting yarns at the end of each row And you use, use all your fingers, you know, to keep your work going, to keep you going. Use them to, you know, bring the wool up, take the wool down, as I'm showing you here. As you can see, it's quite effective. It's a nice pattern. And if you look closely, you can see where the yarn is being worked in. It's being carried through the work. But actually from a distance, it looks really good. It's only when you look close that you can see where the yarn's being carried. But the colour change is really good because you're not bleeding into each colour and it is quite effective. That's the back, that's the front. And you want to make sure that you leave all your ends on one side, but there is easy enough just to pull a yarn through if you have to, to sew it in and carry on.